The LADOT Crossing Guard Program is composed of a team of dedicated men and women who are committed to the safe crossing of our children at or near local schools. The services provided are vital to the community and our children's safety education. The success of this program over the years is due to the collaborative effort of the City of Los Angeles, Department of Transportation, the Los Angeles Police Department, the Los Angeles Unified School District, school administrators and teachers, and the students, parents working together as a team. On behalf of the City of Los Angeles, I want to personally thank you for helping to fulfill a fundamental role of government in providing public safety and for your commitment to become a responsible member of the Crossing Guard program. Welcome to the LADOT family. This video will address safety tips for crossing guards. We will address not only the right way, but the safest way to cross children in signalized and unsignalized intersections. Before crossing children, you must first check the flow of traffic. After checking the traffic flow, you should then note the speed and flow of traffic and specifically watch for fast-moving vehicles. You should always wait for an appropriate gap in traffic. When a gap appears, you should first look both ways to make sure you can safely proceed to get the children. If a normal gap doesn't appear within one or two minutes, you should check for a decrease in traffic and slowly enter the intersection with your stop sign raised. Make sure that the stop sign is visible to drivers and safely enter the intersection with extreme caution. You must always begin crossing from the side of the street to where the children will approach the crossing. Make sure that your children understand to wait for your arrival on the curb or sidewalk. You should signal the children when it is safe to do so. You should always stand between the children and the roadway, leading them across the street. Help them to stand in a position where they are visible to drivers. You should remain in the center of the street until the last child passes you, then follow the group of children safely to the curb. You should never put your sign down until you have completely made sure that no child has been left behind in the intersection. Once you are sure there are no possible hazards, you should then step safely onto the curb, out of harm's way, and lower your stop sign. If you are crossing the street without any children present, you should walk with the stop sign held down. For example, when returning to your posted corner. You should never allow children to cross by themselves. Even when there is absolutely no sign of traffic, you should always go and get the children and safely cross them. You should always wait for the walk signal to appear before you begin crossing children across the street. must check to make sure that the traffic has completely cleared the intersection and stopped and that all turning vehicles to the left and right are aware that you are about to cross the children. You must always begin the walk with the children aware that the walking signal is showing. Once you have seen that the children have safely made it across the street, you must then wait for the next walk signal to recross the street. Remember that you must obey the traffic signals at all times. Here are some safety tips to remember. Avoid the driver that can't see the red light due to the sun blinding their view. 
make sure that before you proceed to cross that all traffic has come to a complete stop. Always remember to raise your awareness based on the degree of traffic. LADOT Crossing Guards, the front line of defense for child safety.